Welcome to Talent Blazers. I'm here with Carly George, Principal Candidate Engagement at BHP. Carly, welcome to Talent Blazers. Thank you. I'm excited to be here. Yeah, we're excited to have you here. You've got a wonderful story. Um, please tell us a little bit about BHP for those people who don't know who BHP are. Um, okay, so for anyone that doesn't know about BHP, um, we are one of the world's largest mining and resources companies. So globally, we're in about 90 different countries and we have around 80,000 um, employees across the globe. Our purpose is to bring people and resources together to build a better working world. Love it. And your role, you've got quite a large portfolio and a unique position within the talent acquisition team. Can you tell us a little bit about uh, your position within BHP? So my role is Principal Candidate Engagement. Um, the title is very ambiguous and my role is very ambiguous. So I look after our recruitment brand and marketing globally. So um, in Australia, in Chile, in Houston, in Asia, um, which is really exciting. I don't think there's very many roles around that give you that breadth of work and also the challenges. So um, I actually don't speak Spanish. So I'm um, working on my Google Translate and Spanish at the same time. Um, and I also look after the candidate experience. So we're starting at BHP to really Think of our candidates like customers you know when you apply for a job i know it's not exactly the same as buying a car but it's a big step right it has a lot of emotions it have a, has a lot of feelings so we want to make sure that we can make those feelings as positive as we can throughout the experience and it's not always going to be a positive outcome for everybody but at least if the experience can be the best that it can be um we've done a good job and done the right thing yeah I love it. And, um, and you introduced video as part of your capability within um, your, your function. Can you, can you tell us a little bit about uh, the problems that video is solving um, within the candidate experience at, at BHP? Yeah, so I'm extremely proud to work for BHP. And um, we have a goal of gender balance by 2025 and increased indigenous participation across all of our operations globally. And um, that means that we have to think differently about who we recruit, the types of skills that we want, the types of people that we want. And to do that, a job advert just doesn't explain all those nuances or all the differences that we would accept. So, you know, we would take this, but we would also take this, 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 and this. Um, job adverts for me are very prescriptive. They're generally seen as a shopping list. Um, and many people read them like that. So if you don't have that, they won't apply and it's tick, tick, tick as you go down. We thought that video was a really great way to highlight the gray. So it was a way to bring that job advert to life and explain the bullet points or explain why something was in there. Um, it was also a really great way for us to showcase our employees. So if you can't see it, you can't be it. And if we can show people like the candidate that's maybe looking at the job advert that work for BHP, then, you know, they already form a connection and they think, oh, actually, they're like me. Oh, maybe I could do that job or maybe I could apply. And that's what we really wanted to do. We wanted to get more people to consider a role in mining. Um, and then obviously we can move them through the process as they get to meet us. But it was that first step. And a lot of people find that really daunting. Yeah, I love it. I'm going to remember that. You can't see it. You can't be it. Absolutely love that. Um, we we're just talking offline and you, you mentioned there are about 600,000 people that apply uh, for a role at, at BHP and uh, 15,000 of them are lucky enough to secure a role. Now you've got a new project that's um, coming to life soon around the candidate journey. Can you share a little bit about that project and um, yeah, really fascinating project? Yeah, sure. So we get 600,000 applications. So they're not individual people, but what it means is that we get multiple people applying multiple times. Um, overall, in a year, we hire around 15,000 people, give or take. Um, what that does mean is that we have a lot of people that get a number of unsuccessful applications um, throughout our process. And what we wanted to do was really make the process as clear and as transparent as we possibly can 
Um, we're not there yet, so we're definitely on a journey with this. But what we wanted to do was add human interaction throughout what can be a really um, manual, system-generated process. So if you think about the types of emails that candidates might receive, hey, you're unsuccessful, and it, it feels like it's been written by a machine. There doesn't feel like there's any person or any connection in there. What we want to start doing is embedding videos um, with hints and tips on the process, explaining even what's going to happen next. So, you know, thanks for your application, just so that you know the next part in your process is going to be an engagement center. And we would then attach a video of where our recruitment team are talking about an engagement center and just trying to give them more preparation for the next stage in the process. Again, in the hope that there are more people are successful through our process. Got it. Absolutely. I love it. And uh, how are you tracking ROI? I think this is a really big one for people watching Talent Blazers. Um, are there any useful tips you can provide to be able to track um, ROI when you're, you've introduced video? Yeah, so that's a really good question and it is hard to do. Um, we were really lucky in that before we introduced video, we had a number of um, tools that we used to show how good our process was. Um, so we have a candidate engagement survey. So we survey all of our candidates that make it to interview engagement center and beyond, whether they're successful or not. And we ask for feedback on the process. What did we do well? What did we do not so well? And um, we also want our, our responses on social media. So when we post a post on our Facebook or our LinkedIn page, obviously people comment. Um, and we monitor the sentiment. So are people being negative about our process on, online or are they being positive? Uh, for a while before we implemented clearer candidate communication, we did have a lot of comments on social media around our process and people not being sure where they were on the process and what updates um, they were getting. Since we've sort of really pushed candidate comms and to be a lot clearer, a lot more concise and a lot more frequent with our communication to our candidates, the social comments have decreased significantly from a negative sentiment. Um, and now a lot of the comments are more, you know, how can I get a job? Where do I need to go? So we have really managed to turn that around. Um, candidate engagement. So we still have a long way to go on this. Um, a job is a really emotive thing to do. So when you apply for a job, you put your feelings really in there. Um, and we just need to get better at telling people the process and how long things are gonna take and why delays are happening. I think candidates are fine as long as they know what's going on. So they're fine with a two week delay or a one week delay as long as they know that delay is coming. Um, and we're really trying to get better with that. And again, it's something that we will use video for because I feel that if a candidate knows that an actual person is looking after their application and um, again they'll feel a connection and they'll actually think well you know what Carly's trying her best she, you know she, she I can see her and she's letting me know what's going on rather than you know just grouping it all together as BHP um, so that's the two metrics that we're using at the moment you could use views um, but I think views is a really hard one because you don't actually know if the person viewing the video is relevant or not. So it, it's not really a return on investment. And um, it is something to track though. Um, and then you'll see how your videos are going. But, but I find the candidate engagement survey, the social media, and just feedback from candidates in general it, it is how we're tracking if we're being successful or not. Awesome tips, Carly. Thanks for your time and sharing. Really useful, um, a true talent blazer. Thanks, Carly. No worries, thank you.